Hi, welcome back to creating your own basic MVC framework for PHP. So in this episode 3 we're going to create a registry. So let's get started. Tab new. Okay. So a registry is a way where we can store objects neatly. This shouldn't be overused, by the way. I'm, I'm only using it for a specific purpose in this framework, so I'll get to that in another episode. That so class registry. Right, our registry is going to be a singleton. So what a singleton is? It's a class that can only be instantiated once. So single. To do that, we have to have a private constructor. Okay. We're going to have, have a few properties. So we're going to have a private static instance. So that'll hold the instance of the registry. So we'll do one. We're going to have a private underscore storage. So this is where we store all that stuff in the registry. So that's some space here. Okay, so you may be wondering, like, how, how do we get our own registry object if it's private function construct? Let's do that. We have to have a public static function get instance. So what get instance will do is we'll create the single instance of the registry so we can use it in our index.php. What I'll do here is I'll, I'll registry equals registry. So that's how we'll call that's how we'll get our object. Let's wait a bit. So what we do is we're gonna do if self instance type of self so if instance is a type of registry then we will actually no we should do that we'll negate it so if it's not a type of if instance is not a type of registry then we'll do self instance equals new registry it's private, it can be called inside get instance. All we'll do now is we'll simply return self self instance. Sorry, let's try that. I'm expecting T string line 13. Is it? Yes. Sorry, it's, I'm thinking of JavaScript. <laughs> it's instance of uh, yeah, silly me. Uh, that was rubbish. So now what we can do is we can add some get and set methods. So we're going to do these are magic methods. So public function set and that's going to be key val. I'm going to do this storage. Storage is an array. Key okay. equals well. We need a, a getter method as well. Probably. Again, this is going to be a magic method. That's going to be key. I'm going to do if this set. Um, this storage key and we're going to return key Oops. this storage key so if nothing's been returned by this point then we've had an error so it's return false let's just make sure I've not made any mistakes okay so let's set the registry so index we made a registry, so we're gonna do registry test equals hello world again <laughs> and we'll just echo no we'll use pre registry test hello world. So if we're thinking well a standard class can do that anyway. But the good thing about this is, now, 
we're going to so we've put registry tests in here okay so let's just make we'll work on our controller again so we'll do a controller equals new index controller okay and then we'll put controller Okay, so there won't be any difference here apart from that line over because I'm not echoing it anymore. Okay. So we're going to add some functionality to our base controller. So we're going to give that a registry. So private underscore registry. Let's make a public function construct. I'm going to do this underscore registry equals registry get instance. Okay, and we're going to have to um, call the construct as well in the one set of uh, controllers. So, controllers. Okay. So, watch this now. So, we've got our registry here. So if I do pre this underscore registry test, oop, what's that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a method, not a property. Hold on, getting okay, errors are there everywhere. So what line is that on? And it's roll line seven. This registry. Let's do um we'll do public function. Construct parent construct. Yeah, that's not fix issue. Registry test. Hold on a second. It's like I'll just pause the video while I find the issue. <laughs> right, sorry again, it's private, obviously that shouldn't be private because it should be protected. And again, that rookie mistake like that. There we go, hello world. See the cool thing here is we've got one registry object. So we're passing hello world here, but we're not passing the control of the registry anyway, we're just getting it getting an instance inside here. And we can use test again. But we can even do this um, this let's go registry don't know uh, my var equals hello from the controller and outside here we'll do pre registry my var and hello from the controller See, we're not even we're not even creating a new registry. It's been manipulated there, and we can use it outside again. So this shouldn't be used too much, obviously, because then you know your code can be a bit dependent on stuff. But what I'm going to use it for is for models, for the world stuff. Okay, so um, yeah, that's all for this episode. So in the next episode, we'll look at loading models and views. So we're coming along now. So thanks for watching. See you soon.